What's going on guys? So I am out here at eTrailers headquarters right outside of St. Louis, Missouri, and we're going to take a look at some really cool products today. I think it's really important to understand the differentiation between what you're seeing in front of you and maybe some of the other products you're used to. Hang tight, I'll be right back. When it comes time for you to actually find your trailer hitch, this is kind of what you run into. You go to the store or you go online and you see this portion right here, which is the shank, right? You see your ball, you see a pin, you see the lock portion for that pin, and then you see different configurations just like this. And the challenge here is trying to put the whole thing together, especially if you're trying to save cost. And this recently happened to me when I bought that small little caravan trailer. I did not have a small enough hitch to be able to support it. The hitch I had with me at the time was a two and five sixteenths and it was a fixed ball for the Denali. So I ended up having to go into a store and pay more than I wanted and have to piece the whole thing together. E-Trailer saw that as a problem and they wanted to create an affordable line of hitches that are pre-torqued to where the ball is already mounted to the shank and it's torqued in place because that's the other challenge. You buy a ball like this, right? Kurt is a great brand, reputable brand. E-Trailer carries all these products as well. And you buy the ball, this slides through here, but then you don't realize that you have to torque this thing down a lot. You have to put a ton of strength and you typically don't have the socket or the torque wrench or the breaker bar you need to be able to put this in place. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you have to go out and buy this and you have to buy the tool to put this on because perhaps you don't know a place that has one or you're in a hurry, all of this will be dwarfed by the cost of the socket and the torque wrench that you will need to actually install it. You're talking like $300 possibly, $250, $300 to get the right equipment just to install this ball into this shank it can get really expensive. Sometimes you'll see kind of an incomplete part as well. You'll see a ball already mounted and you'll see that you have to buy the pin separately. Sometimes you come across complete kits as well. So I don't want to discount that fact, but the reality is this is traditionally how you see stuff sold. But again, eTrailer wanted to combat that with something that gives you kind of an all-in-one solution. The big piece here is that everything's already pre-torqued in place. So you don't have to worry about getting that giant socket. You don't have to worry about figuring out how you're gonna attach them. This is all already torqued to the correct specification in place. You have an absolutely beautiful black nickel ball on all of these. I really, really love the way that these look. You get the hitch pin as well as the pin that snaps it in place to prevent it from coming out. It is all one complete system. So it's like a ready to tow system. If you order this from eTrailer, they're gonna ship it to you. It's gonna be a super, super low cost item that you don't have to worry about. They make it for your real small like minivan, compact SUVs that have a really, really small, typically one and a quarter inch shank on the back. This is a solid piece of steel. So even though it looks really light duty, it's actually solid compared to some that are boxed. And the boxed doesn't mean that it takes the strength away, but for something that is this small, it's really nice to know that that is solid. And it goes in the rise position, so you can haul things with your real small SUV or minivan. And this has a 3,500 pound rating with 350 pounds worth of tongue weight capacity. So that's what that can carry. And then they have different sizes and different heights as well, including this one over here, which is designed for a two inch shank, rated to 10,000 pound gross trailer weight, a thousand pounds of tongue weight, and it's a solid shank. So on the back of this one, you can see it is solid steel, kind of like this one. And some of these are not because they are designed to haul less, right? This is a 7,500 pound with a 750 pound tongue weight capacity. Again, you have them in various drops. And I think this one drops all the way down to six inches. And then they even have one in the rise position as well. So this one is in the two inch rise position, two and three quarter inch rise position, or a four inch drop if you were to take this off, flip it around and put it on the other side, but then you would be detorquing this. So if you have an application where you already know the size of hitch or ball that you need to put in the back and where it needs to be, this is a great option because it includes everything. And I gotta be honest with you, they just look awesome. I mean, check it out. These things look beautiful with that black nickel ball, great protection over it. I even love the darked out e-trailer stickers. These are pre-torqued, ready to go. They come with the pin, they come with the attachments, everything you need to get going aside from the trailer and all your connections that your trailer needs. 
Very cool, but I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this before we rotate around and show you another product. Drop a comment below. Okay, so on this side, you were looking at some really, really cool products. So eTrailer carries tons of brands from Kurt to Blue Ox to their own brand, which is really cool. And this is the eTrailer hitch. This is really, really nice. Let's talk about this and then we'll talk about this really cool item that's coming soon. So first of all, whenever it comes time to get an adjustable hitch, there are a lot of great options available on the market and eTrailer carries a ton of them. So you can go to eTrailer and you can specifically see like dozens and dozens and dozens of different types of hitches because there's all sorts of brands that manufacture hitches. Again, they also have a hitch that is really, really nice. But let's go over a few of them so you kind of understand why you might lean towards one versus another. So the Blue Ox is really nice. I've reviewed that one. That was part of that comprehensive hitch comparison where I took like 14 hitches that eTrailer provided me and I had them all side by side and we went through the different types of adjustments, how they work. Go back and check that video out if you wanna see a comparison that's really comprehensive of all sorts of different types of hitches. Blue Ox was definitely one of them. It has a great design. It's a single pin right here. You pop the pin out, you can flip it to either a two or two and five sixteenths inch ball, two inch coupler with two different length adjustments on it. That's nice. It comes with your traditional pin right here as well. It is a good option. Um, one thing that is interesting about this design in general is you can kind of see that really cool gold look to it. And some people really like that. Over here, we're looking at the Kurt adjustable tri ball system. This is cool. There's a few other brands that have something very similar to it. I'd say the one thing I don't really care about with this product is it's really kind of loose and wobbly feeling whenever you have it installed. Basically, if you grab the ball and shake it, all of this assembly here kind of shakes because you have this shank going into that receiver, then this is pinned to your primary shank and then that's inside of the back of your vehicle. So there's movement there and that movement by the time you get to the end here can equate to like, a quarter of an inch or more of movement each way and it can get loud and kind of clunky. The perk of this is that it extends so far behind your vehicle which can be a bad thing as well if you're not careful because of where you're placing weight but the, the perk is that sometimes it'll get far enough back that if you drop your tailgate your tailgate won't hit your tongue jack on your trailer. So some great perks there. You have three balls on this one. So you have your one seven eighths, you have your two inch and then you have your two and five sixteenths inch ball. Moving on, we have the Kurt. So this is another Kurt product. This is an adjustable channel mount. This is actually a pretty cool setup. It does not include a ball, so you would have to get a ball. You would have to torque it down on there. So just keep that in mind. This is kind of a, I don't know, a hybrid setup between your traditional drop style and a channel style hitch. Um, it's a good quality product. It works well, but again, you do have to get a ball for it and you would have to get a pin for it as well because this isn't gonna include that. It's nice. But the biggest challenge here, again, is if you don't get one of these with the ball included, you're going to have to buy the ball separately and then you're gonna to have to get somebody to do it or find the tools to actually torque the ball down. Now let's move on to the e-trailer drop hitch. This is really cool. It's similar to some other ones that I've seen. So it's not what I would consider to be like groundbreaking, revolutionarily different, but it's a good low cost solution. I believe it's around hundred bucks. You have a great drop and a great rise to it. It's gusseted back here in the back. This one has a maximum capacity of 10,000 pounds on the two and five sixteenths inch ball and 7,500 pounds on the two inch ball, 750 pound tongue weight capacity, 1,000 pound tongue weight on the two and five sixteenths. You have two pins that feed through it. Really nice steel setup right here that this all slides into the channel and you can easily adjust it, flip it around and have it in either the rise position or the drop position. And you have a lot of flexibility here because you have, if you look here, six inches of rise, six inches of drop, and it includes the pin and the pin at the end as well. So this is a really, really great option. And I love that black nickel. That is so different. You know, if you're into gold and you want that gold setup, Blue Ox offers that for you. If you're in a nickel and you want this dark nickel setup, that would look really good on like a blacked out edition vehicle. I think it would just blend in really, really well. So that is cool. What do you guys think of these products? 
Now let's talk about what you're looking at in front of you here. This is kind of a teaser because this is not yet out, but this is actually going to be branded as a BTBRV product. So when you get it, it's going to say BTBRV on it. I probably would imagine maybe in this area right here, because if you put it on the main portion, you slide it in there, you're not seeing the logo, right? And this was because I did a video on this inner product right here. This inner piece is a magnetic reducer. It reduces from two and a half inches down to two inches. So if you have a heavy duty truck with a two and a half inch receiver, you have a two inch shank and you need it to fit, they created this really innovative version that has magnets inside of it. So when you put it inside, you don't have to have the pin technically holding it in place. The magnets keep it in place and keep it from rattling. But that is a very, very innovative feature. And I said, you know what, guys? You have to do it from three inches to two and a half inches as well. They took the challenge and that's what they did. So now this is a three inch shank. So this is what you would see on the back of some of your really, really large motorhomes like your, your huge ones that ride on like Freightliner Cascadia chassis. This is also the same size shank that you would see on many Super Duties, Ford Super Duties, F-350s, 450s. You can get this, and I even think on 250s, you might be able to get a three inch shank. Huge, huge shank. It's for their max towing packages. But the problem is, is you may not have a hitch that fits specifically a three inch shank and you need to reduce that. And they will usually include two reducers, maybe just even one, that reduces it from three to two and a half. And then you have to get one that reduces it from two and a half to two. And this is really nice because if you get this one, you can reduce it from three to two and a half because a lot of the shanks for your heavier duty hitches will fit directly into a two and a half inch receiver. And this is magnetic as well. So your two and a half inch reducer is magnetic. Then if you need to go all the way down to two inches, that one's also magnetic. And the cutout on the side gives you ample ability to make sure that this works and is compatible with virtually any type of receiver, regardless of where this hole might be placed. And now you have a really, really great reducer that is going to go from three to two and a half to two inches with magnets built into it that hold it in place. And honestly, I would love to just be able to pull this out and show you, but the magnets are really, really strong. And this is just great. I don't know exactly when this is gonna hit their website. I will put a link in the description. They're gonna send me a couple samples of them so I can show you because I can actually put them in the F450 and show you the reducers at work and how all of this plays together. And that will be something that's available very, very soon under the BTBRV branding exclusively from eTrailer.com. That's the cool part about it. You know, I'm gonna have my own branded lineup at eTrailer, which is super exciting. It's kind of the path I've always wanted to go. They sell, provide customer service, support, manage the return process, and also manage your warranty, liability, and everything. So you're not just kind of getting something hoping that it's gonna hold up. It's all been tested. It's all been manufactured to a certain level to make sure that it meets any type of rating or requirement and it's backed up by a legitimate, very, very good company to work with. And that's one of the reasons why I love, love my sponsorship from them and I love the support and uh, my e-trailer family in general. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I sure hope there was something in here that helped you all and kind of understand, at least if you go shopping for products, what choices are available to you, what you might be looking for, what you view as a pro, what you view as a con. And honestly, even if you don't buy it from e-trailer, if this helps steer you in the right direction, period, that's all that really matters. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.